G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft Classic. I've actually been playing this on live stream. Um, I sort of came back to it a, it was a couple of months ago. Sort of sitting there thinking, man, I, I wouldn't mind playing Classic again, but I don't know. I, I, last time I checked in, uh, there wasn't really many people around. So I did, I checked it out, I had a look around. There was lots of people around, all of a sudden. I think they've merged like a whole bunch of servers. But uh, I'm playing on Ashkandi and... Yeah, we've been playing Tarantio the Rogue here on the live stream, and yeah, plenty of people running around at ridiculous hours as well. Like my hours, for the people in America, are ridiculous hours. So yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, do a Let's Play World of Warcraft Classic in 2023. Uh, start off a new character and sort of have a look, have a little look of what it's like in this current day and age. Uh, so let's start. I'm not going to make a Night Elf. We've got a Night Elf series going, so... I will make... I'll make a dwarf. I'll make a dwarf. I've never had a dwarf before. Yeah, let's try a dwarf out. Uh, let's see. I, I've never. <laughs> I don't even think to just muck around on a plate of dwarf, but... Let's see what that's like. Some... Let's have a look at these faces. Hairstyles. Yeah, that looks dwarvish to me. Is it the red hair? Got that red hair going. Yeah, why not? Why not? Red eye red eyebrows and hair. Green eyes. How's that beard looking? Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, that, that looks... That looks dwarvish. Let's see. Thora Fern. Mono, Mono Lake, Thor, Man, Thor Man, we got Thor Man, is there a Thor Man available? There is indeed, alright, let's try it out. The stoic dwarves of Ironforge spent countless generations mining treasures from deep within the earth. Hidden within their impregnable stronghold of Ironforge Mountain, they rarely ventured beyond the wintry peaks of Dunmora. Recently, however, the dwarves unearthed a series of ruins that held secrets to their ancient heritage. Driven to discover the truth about his people's fabled origins, the great king Magni Bronzebeard ordered that the dwarves shift their industry from mining to archaeology. As part of the Grand Alliance, the stalwart dwarven armies have been called away to battle the merciless horde in faraway lands. In these perilous times, the defense of the Mountain Kingdom falls to brave dwarves like you. The spirits of the ancient kings watch over you, and the very mountains are your strength. The future of your people is in your hands. Right, here we are. Oh, look, we got a gnome, we got a, another dwarf, there's a dwarf running in the background. Okay, so let's start by talking to you. Great to meet you. Oh, well aren't you a sturdy looking one? Perhaps you can assist me with a thing or two. Not much help around here except for green apprentices. And they've got the things to worry about. Dwarven outfitters. What do we have here? You look as though you might need something to help keep your hands warm, hmm? Well, I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves and being the kind soul that I am. I'd be happy, more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I've one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, hmm? You bring me some wolf meat, and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Well, what do you say? See you soon. See you soon. I didn't even say I'd do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we are a hunter. I don't know if I actually explained that I was going to be a hunter. Uh, we have a gun here. We got oh, Raptor Strike. And that's my auto attack. I don't need that. Because I can just right click to start that off anyway. Um, so I'll leave Raptor Strike there. I might need auto shot actually just to initiate from a distance. Let's see. That's it. Kablam! Yeah, I, and now that he's in range, I can't actually use my gun anymore. This is the classic. This is the classic way. Yeah, I gotta say, it was, uh, it was at a time when I was playing a lot of Dark Souls. And then I came back to World of Warcraft Retail. I was like, man, it's just too easy. <laughs> I need a bit of a challenge. And, uh, so... 
So I thought, you know, I really liked my classic run when I was I was playing a rogue, and you know, I I had to be a little bit uh, had to strategize how I'm going to take on more than two or three mobs. You know, looking at my food buff, looking at the uh, potions, I guess, because I was an alchemist there. Making sure everything was right. Do I have healing potions? Am I ready to go? Questions I don't ask when I am on my uh, retail character. So yeah, the whole thing is I just, I wasn't sure whether there should be people around. And um, I mean, not, not, I play a lot of it solo anyway, but it's nice to see them running around. And occasionally you do interact, you know, if you got to do a quest or help somebody out and somebody runs past, gives you a buff, that type of thing. You know, you like to see the living world. So yeah, I was, I was quite surprised. Very surprised. Uh, because I had checked actually, like, it might have been about a year ago. And, uh, yeah, it was, I was almost like in Stormwind, there was like nobody. <laughs> it was just me. I was the king of Stormwind. So it's good to see. Seems like there's a bit of a resurgence. A lot of people may be asking the same thing. Like, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing what it's like. Oh, there's people around. Oh, cool. Fantastic. Let's give this a go. Alright, so let's throw everything that I've got available to me. That is an upgrade. So the live stream I've been doing on Thursday nights. 7.30. Australian. And, uh... Yeah, it's for about two hours, and I've been having a lot of fun. Just playing my Night Elf Rogue over there in Classic Classic, the one that you saw before. It's been a lot of fun, actually. Very slow paced. Very slow paced. As you can see right here. And uh, I kind of, I really like it. I like, I like the difference. You know, I do like playing uh, the modern WoW as well. But I, I really do appreciate, I've said this a million times, <laughs> but... I do really appreciate that they've got classic, like classic, classic, still available. Something special about the leveling. The leveling journey. I don't know if it's something I would do back to back though. You know, it's like I would level a character, I'll be good for a while. But then, you know, I'll start thinking about it again. And I'd like to go on that journey here, once again. your shot so over on the channel if you're new here and you're just coming by because you saw classic water warcrafting 2023 thought you'd give it a click um i do i do play a lot of water warcraft here uh we have a horde series going through eastern eastern kingdoms and kalimdor quests and we've got an alliance series doing the same thing one's a human paladin one's an orc shaman I've got a Dragonflight series that we're currently working on 10.1. Oh, there's a Night Elf. Johnny the Night Elf came all the way up here to have a different uh, starting, starting experience, I guess. Alright, so I've got six of eight tough wolf meat. I've done a few starting experience series as well with different races like Worgen and Draenei. That's been fun to see. Yeah, but all the questing here is different, right? And compared to modern World of Warcraft, because post-cataclysm, uh, you had all the, you know, right after the event, uh, we had different quests available in familiar zones but a lot of those quests I hadn't actually done so it's been fun doing that on the human valor and the orc shaman there but it's good to have these uh the older quests preserved dwarven outfitters <laughs> wolves giving you a bit of trouble I oh, you do well to avoid the fangs and claws and other sharp bits yes and then he had a gig I guess oh wonderful the wolf meat should do nicely oh don't worry Thorman <laughs> Thor man, I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Here, one of these should fit you. All right, so we'll go for leather because that's the best we can wear at the moment. Uh, eventually, I think what's a level 40 or 30, 30 or 40, you can switch over to male armor. Whereas in retail, you know, 
you can have, I'm pretty sure it's male armor right from the get-go. Okay, I will take this. Wolf handler gloves. Throw those on. Throw the leather pants on. That's some, uh, I don't know, one of the wolves coughed up or something. Uh, we do actually have ammunition as well. You don't have unlimited ammo, so you got to be wary of that. And uh, you can buy more. You can buy better uh, ammunition as you level up. Maybe like at level 10 or level 20, there's a there's a slightly uh, better type of bullet which will do more damage per second. Okay, so we've got two more quests, and we've got some quests behind us, I think. Nope, I am on, I am on all the quests, right. Etched rune. While you were helping me out, this rune was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it when you have a chance. I'm thinking it came from the hunter trainer Thorgus. Ah, uh, take a gander at it. And I'll go find him inside Anvilmar when you've got a chance. Thorgus? Man, what's with the Thor thing? Off with you. I'm Thor man, there's Thor gas. What's on your mind? You don't want to, you don't want to smell that Thor gas. Cold Ridge Valley mail delivery. Hmm. I don't suppose you'd be willing to do a favor for me, lad. A stack of letters came through the past today. And, uh, but I don't have the time to send them along. They're all addressed to Talon Kina. You can find them to the west down the road. He's set up camp next to the frozen lake. What do you say? Watch your back. I say yay. What can I do for you? A new threat. Look at all these. Look at these dwarven beards. You just want to pull those. Just pull them down. A new threat. I hope you're here to lend us hand, Hunter. After the last throng attack, we can use all the help we can get. I hear the buggers have been popping up all across the lands, and it seems Cold Ridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake. And that's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We're a bit short-handed here, lad, and we need strong arms to help drive the trogs back. Be good. Alright. Well, I'm your man. I mean, dwarf. Thor man, I am your Thor man. Uh, yeah, so I read quests. That's what I do. I've been doing it for years and years and years. Uh, I have a channel here, Azrael Dan, obviously, and also got a channel called... Game on Leo Dan, where I play MMORPGs and do much the same thing. Uh, it's always been something that I've enjoyed, and and I like it. And I do silly voices too. I try to do voices <laughs> as best as I can. Etched rune. You made it. Oh, good to hear. Oh, bet you didn't have a have to track me to find the place either. <laughs> Our profession is pretty steeped in tradition, Tom man. Learning the ways of the land. Learning to track a bear through the mountains, even just surviving on wits alone takes a great deal of courage and cunning. Think you're capable. I didn't actually read the edge rune. Was there anything? Hey, there's something on it. Tamers of beasts, master marksman, proven tracker. What else you want to accomplish in this lifetime? All those things combined takes quite a bit of intelligence and a great deal of patience. The path of the hunter ain't an easy one, that's for sure. You're gonna need lots of training if you wanna be as good as even our lowest ranking riflemen. But that's why I'm here. Find me inside Anvilmar overlooking Cold Ridge Valley. I'll be waiting. Thorgas, Crimson, Grimson, Thunt, huh, Hunter, Hunter Trainer. What can I do for you? I just combined that and called it a Thunder. I don't know how that works, but it did. Alright. One thing you should always remember is that you gotta respect the world you're living in. The beast that choose to fight alongside you, the shine of your weapon, the weight of your ammo, the bite of the bitter wind, all these things you need to know intimately. I'll do what I can to help you, but most of the work's up to you. Anytime you think you're ready, come back and talk to me. I'll train you when I can. Okay, so we're level two. Every What's two levels, we're going to be able to get a new ability. Uh, so you can see here, level four, we got a few things. Serpent Sting and so on. Arcane Shot at level 6. Um, for now, we got Track Beast. I don't have the money for it, although I could probably sell some of this oh, crapola that I got. Uh, but I won't... I don't think I need... Oh, actually, hang on. Let's see. Now, the Sell Junk button is an add-on, just so you know. Um, there are add-ons you can get out there that will make your life a little bit easier, such as, Watch for example, back. you can see all these marks here. That's not part of the game. Normally, you would talk to these quest givers and you have to basically listen to them 
uh, there wouldn't be a marker as to where you got to go. You just got to look with your eyeballs. So uh, if you if you want to take it back, peel it back. I would even encourage you to try that. Um, and certainly the first time you load in, if you never loaded into Classic before, that's what you're going to be looking at. Uh, but know that there is a way out. There is a thing called Questy. It's an add-on. It's a very good add-on. It's been around for a long time, and it'll make your life a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, I'd say give it a crack without it. See what it's like. Just just have a look. Have a go. See what it's like. See you soon. See you soon. All right, so I'm going to head out there. Uh, we've got Track Beast is a new ability. So I'm going to throw that on. I can see where all the beasts are on the mini-map. Um, again, like, you, know, I don't, I'm not really a big tracker, uh, but, you know, if you're wondering where they are, well, now you can see them. So I'm just going to take that off because it's, makes my mini-map a little bit more, uh, full of information that I don't really need right now anyway. Okay. So, trogs. We saw some trogs out here before. And I was actually shooting a few of them. So we got 181 bullets. Now with an auto shot, with the auto shot, I don't think I can shoot while I'm on the go. I think I need to stand still. Oh no, I can keep moving. Oh, can I? No, I gotta stand still. Okay. Yeah, I gotta stand still. But when I get my instant abilities, I should be able to cast those while I'm running away to create that distance. I have played a hunter before. I played one. Uh, I had a night elf hunter. So I had a night elf hunter, a night elf warrior. They were two of my main characters way back in the day. Uh, I definitely played my warrior a lot more than that hunter, but uh, I did have one. So I was used to, you know, creating that distance so I could fire off more shots. But I like, I kind of like the whole, you know, when they get that close, you can, you can melee as well. Dual axes would be great. Now with this auto shot, I wonder if I could just leave it. I just tap it once. I'll tap it once. And then it's still flashing, so it's active, I'm sure. I could just stand here. Right, I don't have to keep pressing the button. Good. But once they close the distance, that's that. Get a couple good shots off. What else have we got here? Level 16, yep, throw that on. Got a little gnome over there. I have played a gnome once for about an hour. I made a warlock one time. A long, long time ago. <laughs> so very long ago. And, uh, and then never again, I don't think. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Get those shots off. Yeah, I'd say classic. Classic can be quite relaxing. Uh, it can be <laughs> if you if things are under control. But the music is the music's quite soothing. Could probably be a nice chill chill out game for you. As long as you keep things under control. Right now everybody's yellow there, so they're not gonna automatically attack me. A little later on, things will be red, so... Moving this close, I would have pulled in all these things. They'd all be attacking me right now. Then it's not so calming and soothing. Then it can be a little bit more stressful. But if you prepare, you try to take on one at a time. Depending on your spec. And depending on what abilities you have available to you. For example, this guy will get a trapper at some point. Um, although I'm not intimately... Uh, I don't 
Well, I don't quite remember whether it's the type of trap I'm thinking of. It might be a trap that slows down the enemy. I don't know if I've... Yeah, I think there is a trap in Classic. Where you totally freeze them up. I'm sure there is. Oh, there we go, level 3. Uh, level 3, which, if I bring this up, it'll show you. Uh, has increased my survival. 15 marksmanship, my strength, agility, stamina. Uh, 17 hit points. And mana, because you use mana. Um, so yeah, a couple of little things. I don't get uh, a tree, I don't get a place to distribute points just yet. That happens at level 10. So I need some burly rock jaw. Trog, I need one more of those, which is that guy over here. Oh, almost got the third shot. Almost got the third shot. I don't think I created enough distance there. I think I, in fact, I would close the distance. Okay, so we'll return. Um, and then we'll hand that quest in. So looking at the map here, there's a few quests around here. There's one that's leading us back over there. Uh, and then there's something called the Troll Cave. So if you don't have the quest yet on, you won't see that on your map. You actually won't see any of this stuff. How are you? You'd have to... Hello sort of venture over there and stumble upon some of the quests. If the problems we've had here are indic indicative of what is happening elsewhere in our lands, but Magnus Beard will have some troubles ahead of us. I can only hope that the King and the Senate are taking steps to deal with the threat the Trogs pose. Uh, get on my back, Bear Shoal. Oh, it's only level 5. I mean, 5 armor. It's a white item. It does really matter. Um, we've got this, but this is going to sell for nine anyway. This one sells best. Safe travel. I'll throw it on my back. Why not? But if I want to sell it, it'll be Go. worth the most amount. Okay, so, uh, also there's an alternative. You can get arrows, but I don't know if you know how to use a bow yet. You might have to find somebody either here or, I don't know, dare I say, you might have to go all the way to Darnassus to learn how to use a bow. See and if you soon. have to do that, uh, if you go to Ironforge, which is our city, maybe you'll find a mage, which will be good enough to port you all the way over here. Otherwise, there's a bit of a run ahead of you. <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go all the way uh, to the wetlands from here. All the way to the wetlands, catch a boat, which will take you to Albany. All right? Dark Shore, so around here, and then from there you get a boat which will take you to Teldrassil and uh, or Darnassus, the city, and then somewhere around here, maybe here, you'll learn how to use a bow, or just use the gun because we're dwarves, right? Uh, we got a quest inside here, which is level three. We might grab that. Yeah, Felix. Let's grab that from Felix. We got 156. We start off with 200, so it seems we should be okay for a little bit. Especially considering uh, enemies will close the distance and we have to melee anyway. Can I help you? Hey, Felix. Pleased to meet you. A refugee's quandary. We drove the trogs out of Nomragan, but then it all went so horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradi irradiated, and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmoreau. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvomar. I'm no adventurer, but could you find my things and bring them here to me, please? Be seeing you. I'll do it because of your hairstyle, mate. Yes, that is absolute. Look at that thing, absolutely legendary. Off and away. All right. I don't think he's actually bald. I think he just he chose that. He just shaved the top of his head and said, "This is it, gnome style." All right. So he's telling me to go over here, and there's several things we got to go over here to Talon Kenai to make that delivery. So we'll go in that direction. Small crag boar. Uh, I don't know what level we get a pet at, but I don't think it could be too far away. Level 10? Level 20? 
I don't want to have a boar as a pet. I want to have a bear as a pet. I don't know if there's any bears around, but um, if I could find a bear, I'd like to have that bear. But otherwise, I might stick with it. I'll start with a boar. I want a bear because, you know, if you've watched the uh, the intro to World of Warcraft, a vanilla, classic, whatever you want to call it, you see a dwarf there with a bear. How are you? I'm that guy, Thor man. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, do you have something for me? I got a stack of letters. Oh, thank you. I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time. Unfortunately, these letters aren't all for me. This one is addressed to Grillin Whitebeard. Well, he's not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him. If I remember correctly, Grillin's camp is down the road to the southeast. No doubt he's eager to get his mail. Alright, what else you got for me, Talon? The boar hunter? Nothing like a day of boar hunting, eh? Though, here in Cold Ridge Valley, there are so many boars that almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They're all angry and ready without any help. In fact, recently, there have been so many boars in the area, it's become dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Long story short, if you could do me, uh, you could help me so kill some of the boars, I'd appreciate it. Be good. Alright, buddy. I'll kill some boars and then I'll turn one into a pet. Doesn't make sense, does it? It somehow does. Somebody just leveled up. Congrats to them. Give you the old choppy. The old chopperino there, Cragball. Beautiful. Get some tough jerky. Oh, actually, I'll probably... I should have seen whether there was a place to learn cooking. But that might come later. Yeah, because you got your professions, you got cooking, fishing, uh, or your, your secondary professions, I guess. And then you can choose two for your main profession. Um, I tend to go with alchemy and uh, herbalism. Just because while I'm leveling up, I tend to see these flowers and so on along the way. Make some potions that I, uh, I can utilize. Seems to be my go-to type of profession. Although with this guy, I think leather working can also work because I believe you make leathers, which is good for, you know, up until the point where you can wear mail. But I think you can also make mail, I think. Uh, might be wrong there. Maybe that's actually retail and they changed it. And uh, blacksmithing is what you want if you want to make mail armor. Yeah, it might be that. All the different versions of World of Warcraft out there. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of. Do -do -do -do. Let's go deliver this guy's mail. Closing in. And we're about almost halfway level three. Through level three here. Well met. Uh, Cold Ridge. Greetings, lad. I'm Grella Whitebeard. Of her, I'm here to examine the threat posed by the growing numbers of trolls in Cold Ridge Valley. What have I found? Uh, it's a bit troubling. Is it something I can help you with? Ah, oh, excellent. It's been a while since I received word from Ironforge. The Troll Cave? My brother Senir and I are sent here. Uh, we're sent here to different parts of Dunmoreau to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. The Senate had his hands full with the trogs, so they've no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Coleridge Valley, mostly the southern cave. I'd say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in the endeavor. I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. Keep your feet on the ground. Feet on the ground, okay. So we will go. We will go off to the cave. The cave was over here somewhere. It's obscured by all these icons. But I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Folks, if you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the like button. And let me know, um, I don't know, some of your classic stories or something. Something like that would be interesting to read. Anyway, until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.